Symmetry of Sound is trying to recreate an amazing experiment that was done at the end of the 18th, beginning of the 19th century by a, a German scientist called Ernst Hladny, demonstrating that if you vibrate a square plate with sand or salt on the top, these amazing symmetry patterns appear inside the plate. So we're doing a kind of modern version of Hladny's experiment. This piece is actually a real collaboration between a lot of people. Uh, we're working with some undergraduates and graduates who are going to help explain to the public what it is they're seeing and help them play with it. Um, I'm working with a great artist, Richard Rees, who's going to curate the patterns that we're going to see and we're going to document them. And in a way, this is trying to inspire some new artistic creation. The mathematicians are volunteers who like to talk to the public about mathematics. We go out into schools and run like one hour workshops or afternoon workshops with a lot of sort of fun projects involving things like giant dice and lottery games. Often very, very simple ideas to, to describe, but that might be very, very hard to solve in their entirety. Hopefully at the end of the day, come to some conclusions about mathematics, including that it isn't perhaps as boring as it is sometimes portrayed. And the idea is purely to get our enjoyment of mathematics and science out to the populace. Um, we go into schools, we go to science festivals, we do public lectures, and it's all to share with everyone our enjoyment, our enthusiasm, and to motivate people to enjoy it as much as we do. Well, I think the plates are fantastic. I, I try and build things sometimes myself, musical instruments and so on, and I know how hard it is to build something that's, that looks good, that sounds good, and that works, that does the thing you want it to do. And congratulations to everyone involved. It's absolutely brilliant. This is really a public engagement which connects to my own research. I research into symmetry. We're seeing symmetry appearing on a two-dimensional plate. I'm trying to create symmetries in like high-dimensional space. And also the mathematics behind the resonances that we see might also be the key to solving one of our greatest unsolved problems, something we're working on here at the Maths Institute, something called the Riemann hypothesis about prime numbers. An important part of this project is getting some evaluation, getting some help from the public to say, well, what did you want more of? What did you like? What did you not like? It's a sort of soft opening of the event, but we just needed to have a feel for how this thing worked, how the public are interacting with it. So we're gonna do that um, partly with a questionnaire that we're giving people, but also just one-to-one uh, -one interviews is a very good way to get some idea about what's working and what's not. It's funny because you think about a public engagement project really being just sort of a one-way thing where the scientist is exciting the public about the science that they do, but actually it's a real two-way conversation because often they'll ask you a question that you hadn't thought of before and that can often stimulate a new direction in your own research. 